What sort of philosophy one chooses depends on what sort of person one is. Johann Gottlieb Fichte, 1762-1814 Johann Gottlieb Fichte was an 18th century German philosopher and student of Immanuel Kant. He examined how it is possible for us to exist as ethical beings with free will, while living in a world that appears to be causally determined, that is to say, in a world where every event follows unnecessarily from previous events and conditions, according to nine varying laws of nature. The idea that there is a world like this out there, beyond ourselves and independent of us, is known as dogmatism. This is an idea that gained ground in the Enlightenment period but Fichte thinks that it leaves no room for moral values or choice. How can people be considered to have free will, he asks, if everything is determined by something else that exists outside of ourselves? Fichte argues instead for a version of idealism similar to Kant's, in which our own minds create all that we think of as reality. In this idealist world, the self is an active entity or essence that exists outside of causal influences and is able to think and choose freely, independently, and spontaneously. Fichte understands idealism and dogmatism to be entirely different starting points. They can never be mixed into one philosophical system, he says, there is no way of proving philosophically which is correct, and neither can be used to refute the other. For this reason one can only choose which philosophy one believes in, not for objective, rational reasons but depending upon what sort of person one is. Think the eye, and observe what is involved in doing this. Johann Gottlieb Fichte In context, branch, epistemology, approach, idealism, before. 1641 René Descartes discovers that it is impossible to doubt that I exist. The self is therefore the one and only thing of which we can be sure. 18th century Immanuel Kant develops a philosophy of idealism and the transcendental ego, the I that synthesizes information. This forms the basis of Fichte's idealism and notion of the self. After 20th century Fichte's nationalist ideas become associated with Martin Heidegger and the Nazi regime in Germany. 1950s Isaiah Berlin holds Fichte's idea of true freedom of the self as responsible for modern authoritarianism.